Once a pay period has been updated, the associated employee payslips will now be available for printing and emailing. Firstly, I will show you how to print your payslips. Select process icon number 7, or you can go to payslips and then print email payslips. Choose the pay period of the payslips you wish to print. You can choose from historical as well as current payslips. Simply select the process period from the drop-down list. Select the employees. You can do this individually by selecting the employee's name or by clicking Select All. You can also select by department if you have this utility set up within your payroll. Select the number of payslips you would like to print per employee. You can tick this box if you want to print the zero payment payslips from this pay period. Choose the payslip type that you wish to print from the drop-down menu. When ready to print, simply press Print to send the payslips to your printer. Tesaurus Payroll Manager has a feature that allows you to batch print an employee's historical payslips. To use this utility, select either the 2 per page high resolution or 2 per page low resolution payslip type. Highlight an employee's name. Click Print Employee History. Then indicate the period you wish to print and click OK. In order for you to avail of the email facility within Tesaurus Payroll Manager, Email addresses for the employees and the employer must first be entered in the software. Passwords can also be set up for additional security. To enter an employee's email address, go to process icon number one or employees and then add amend employees. Select the employee, enter the email address to which the employee's payslip will be emailed, enter a password and click update. The email utility in Tesaurus Payroll Manager does not use your own email account to send the payslips. Instead, payslips are sent directly via our Tesaurus email server. An employer email address is therefore required in the software so that the employer can receive a carbon copy of each email sent. To enter the employer email address, go to File, Amend Company Details. The employer email address will be used as a reply to email address. In the event that you do not wish to receive a carbon copy of each email sent, this feature can be turned off by ticking the box provided. To email finalized payslips, select process icon number 7 or payslips, then print email payslips. Choose the pay period. Choose email payslips from the drop down menu. All employees who have an email address entered in their employee record will be available for selection. Click on the individual employee's name for whom you wish to email a payslip to or choose Select All or Select by Department Grouping. Tick the box if you want to also email the zero payment payslips for the pay period selected. When ready, simply press Email to email the payslips to your employees. All employee payslips can be emailed as one PDF document directly from the software to the report email address. A detailed payslip working or calculation is available for every payslip. This feature provides a detailed explanatory step-by-step -step guide to the calculations behind the PAYE, USC and PSRI deductions made on each employee payslip. If required, the workings can be printed or emailed to an employee to explain their payslip in detail. Once payslips are finalised, the workings for any historical payslip can be printed or emailed going to payslips, print slash email PAYE, USC and PRSI workings. Select the pay period which you wish to print or email the workings for and select the relevant employees. Choose print or email as required. To batch print historical workings for an employee, Select Print from the drop-down menu, highlight the employee's name, click Employee History, indicate the period you wish to print from and click OK. Workings will then print from the period indicated to the most recent period processed. 